The IMF is uniquely trained and highly motivated. In Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, Tom Cruise takes Ethan Hunt for a fifth trip around the block. And at his side are newcomers Rebecca Ferguson and returning franchiser Simon Pegg. Ethan, where are you? The syndicate is real. A rogue nation trained to do what we do. An anti-IMF. The action's world class and red hot. Much like the pavement in Vienna, where I caught up with the cast at the film's world premiere. Hey, we're here in Vienna and it's hot. Man, it's, it's hot. Unseasonably hot. It's terrifyingly hot. It's apocalyptically hot. Oh, hey boys, what did I miss? Folks, it is blisteringly hot here at the Vienna Opera House in Vienna, Austria, but that's not stopping all these people down there from showing up to see one Tom Cruise. And I know he's not going to disappoint in showing that million dollar smile he's got for all those fans. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one and only Tom Cruise! And sign and selfie Cruise and Company do for five full hours. We are here at the Vienna Opera House and the fans are all at our back, thousands of them showing huge amounts of love to you guys. Know, Does it seem surreal to you? Yes, Com completely. I, I'm basically in the moment right now. I think I'm gonna put my head on the pillow late at night and relive all of it. I'm gonna give myself 25 minutes probably of sleeping tomorrow. It was so hot, bless their hearts, they were sweating. There were little children being squashed. It was, it was kind of traumatic, but what a wonderful occasion. There's good reason that we're in the land of Lederhosen, and it all has to do with this, one of the film's centerpiece scenes. Now, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation has got a blisteringly kinetic heartbeat, with action scenes unfolding in the air, on the ground, on two wheels, and on four, and one right here at the world-famous Vienna Opera House. Take your position. I have eyes. The show is about to start. Got it. Tell me about it, what was it like? First day of shooting, I had vertigo. I found out that we would be jumping off the Vienna uh, rooftop. So I basically, I was put in a harness and uh, we gradually worked ourselves up to a height where I felt comfortable, which was probably a meter. Uh, and then after a month and a half, we were on 75 feet. I had my legs wrapped around Tom and he goes, are you ready? And I sort of went, no, 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 yes. And he jumped. I think after the eighth time, he said, we've got it. And I sort of went, no, 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 let's do it again. Ethan? But the scene that has everyone talking is this one. Yes, that's Cruz actually hanging outside of a moving plane. No green screen. You outdid yourself as far as stunts are concerned on this one. Put me on the outside of that plane, tell me what it felt like. You know, we spent a lot of time trying to figure out and just to design and engineer the camera so that it wouldn't come off at that speed. And if, if anything happened to the aircraft, you know, just hanging the camera off that. And then as we're going down the runway, I did it eight times. Just, there's, you know, I'm thinking about the movie. I'm thinking about in terms of where the camera angle is and the direction, the editing. There's lines that I had to say. But the first time we hit the, we hit the coals when he starts going, you know, going full throttle on that thing going down the runway. I mean, it, it was intense. It was fun. It was very intense. 